If I can help somebody as I pass along, if I can cheer somebody with a word or a song, if I can show somebody he is trapped. Wrong, then my living shall not be in vain. God has given us all a purpose, and we thank God for those who have come into our lives and whose paths we have crossed. Brother Gabe Rivera has a great ministry. For many years, he was a missionary, a pastor, and now he has a ministry of, of restoring, of reaching uh, those whose lives have been broken by sin. It is such a privilege to have Brother Gabe Rivera speaking for us today. Brother Gabe. In the book of Judges, chapter 6, 7, and 8, we're given the account of what I like to refer to as God looking for a partner. And I don't think that that's an isolated incident. And I don't believe it was because God could not defeat the Midianites alone. We understand today that we have an all-powerful God. So why was God looking for a partner? It was because God chose to work through human beings. He wanted to glorify himself through human instrumentality. This is often the case in both the Old and the New Testament. When God looks for a partner, what kind of person does he want? Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever considered that you may want to be a partner with God? Well, I believe there are a number of things, characteristics that God looks for. And over the next several times together, I want to outline these for you. I want you to ask yourself the question, am I a person who would make a good candidate to be a partner with God? In Judges chapter 6, 7, and 8, we find the man Gideon. And the first characteristic I see here is when God looks for a partner, he looks for a person of faith. Gideon's faith did not come easily, and perhaps our faith will not always come easily. Gideon's faith increased after the miracle of the fleece. God showed his faith by naming the altar he built, Jehovah Shalom, the Lord is peace. Gideon did this before the battle had ever been fought, before the victory had been won. When God looks for a partner, he looks for a man of faith. But added to faith, he looks for a person, a partner who is obedient. God said, Gideon, tear down the pagan altar. And Gideon tore it down. God said, build an altar to me. And Gideon built the altar. God said, reduce your army. And Gideon did. God instructed Gideon to arm them with pitchers and trumpets and lamps. And Gideon did. When God looks for a partner, he's looking for a partner who has faith and can be obedient. Do you have faith? Can you be obedient? without asking 20 questions? 
Faith is believing and trusting, and obedience follows when we exercise that faith. Exercise your faith today. Be obedient and make yourself a candidate to be a partner with God. God bless you. Thank you so much for that. What a blessing. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we thank you so much for what we've heard today. Help us now to know for sure that heaven is our home and that we're living in the center of your perfect will. With our heads bowed and eyes closed, if you've never been saved, call upon the name of Jesus right now. He's the only one who can save you. Just pray something like this from your heart to God. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I deserve to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died to save me, and right now I receive him into my heart as my own personal Savior. If you prayed that prayer, won't you let us know? We'd love to rejoice with you and be a help to you. And right now, I want to encourage everyone to keep winning souls and keep on living the Christian life. Father, we thank you for the Christians out there today who've been encouraged and are going to go on for you today. Help them, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You know, the only way we can live this life for Jesus Christ successfully is by His grace. Join me if you would. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found was blind but now I see God bless you today you are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep daily devotionals this is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia if you would like to learn more about our ministries You can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.